All right, guys, well, I'm back today with a 300 blackout 16 inch upper assembly from Bear Creek Arsenal. If you follow the channel, you'll know I've been reviewing them for about seven to eight years now, ever since I purchased my first one when they dropped their website. The cool thing about Bear Creek Arsenal is they make affordable upper assemblies that work. This is a solid option to start expanding your caliber lineup without spending a ton of money. If you ever thought about maybe hunting with your AR, but you didn't feel like the 223 or 556 was adequate, you may have thought about something like the 65 Creedmoor or 300 Blackout because they are larger projectiles able to take down larger game. Now this is a really good option, but the 300 Blackout really shines because it allows you to run subsonic ammunition like this Callaway Ballistics ammo where it does not break the sound barrier, add a quiet device on the end, and it's nearly silent, and this stuff works out great. I actually have a code to Callaway Ballistics, 704 Tactical for 5% off and free shipping on orders over $200, making it some of the best deals right now on ammo that I've seen, and they also have an incredibly good price on 9 mil right now so definitely check them out but let's get back into the 300 blackout now for me bear creek arsenal is really known for their affordable barrels had a lot of luck out of the precision 223 wild barrels and that accuracy and performance really goes hand in hand with affordability which is hard to find so let's start at the front and work our way to the back and talk about this particular 16 inch 300 blackout upper and ways to save money and some of the price points that we're looking at so right off the bat they do come with this flash hider and this flash hider is actually a non-directional flash hider meaning you thread it on without a crush washer because there's no up, down, left, or right. So I love the fact that they're adding these to most of their upper assemblies. It's 5 8 by 24 threads for the larger muzzle devices, that 308 size and 300 blackout size. This is actually attached to their Bear Creek Arsenal Bear Claw fluted barrel. If you can see in there, it's got those flutes that swirl around with the two-tone look. Probably one of the coolest uh, high-value barrels I've seen out there when it comes to looks. And they make this in a wide variety of calibers, but I really love that Bear Claw barrel. It gives a little pop of something interesting, but not over the top and not overly dramatic. Uh, it also is surrounded by one of their rail systems. Now, this particular rail system has QD slots at the front and rear, and then it tapers down in the center. Now, that is very comfortable, but I honestly like my rail systems completely across the top, and they have versions of those as well. And I like those a little bit better because there's no place to put a pressure switch on the top of this rifle. Especially being 300 blackout, I would like to run this maybe with some type of night vision for different night vision hunting applications with a quiet device on the end maybe an ir laser mounted to it and you'd have to do some offset things with the presser switch whereas if it just had a monolithic pick rail at the top you could clip that presser switch right on so that's definitely a major complaint of these rail systems now again they have other rail systems that are completely across i would recommend those but this one is fine i'm just nitpicking a little bit here i do want to mention that Moving along, this one is the dual charging action. Now, this is pretty cool because BCA is really one of the only ones that I've seen do dual charging actions and they work out well. This is their Generation 2 side charging assembly. So it's got a hook right there to charge the rifle. And then it also has this. So if you were to mount an LPVO or some type of thermal or something on this for night vision applications, you can actually access the charging handle from the side rather than kind of uh, going up under that night vision or LPVO to grab the charging handle. But it's there if you want it. Now, when it comes to reliability and the quality of the action, these work out incredibly well. A lot of people ask me about replacement parts for the BCGs. Now, the bolt is exactly the same as a traditional AR, and that's the part that's going to wear out after maybe, I don't know, eight to 10,000 rounds. You might have to start replacing extractor springs and extractors and the extractor spring O-ring. But all those are standard off-the-shelf AR parts, so it's not kind of um, set in stone that you have to buy it from BCA. So if you're worried about buying replacement BCGs from BCA, you really just have to buy the replacement bolt. That's about the only thing that's going to wear out. 
and all those parts are standard. It functioned perfectly down at the range with this 300 blackout subsonic ammunition as well as Wolf steel cased supersonic ammunition. It functioned great with both. Now, it did not cycle the subsonic ammo without a quiet device on the end, but that's pretty typical. You're not going to be shooting subsonic ammo without that, so something to consider. And if you are running subsonic ammunition, it's always a fine tune, especially with 300 blackout, of getting it correctly gassed to where it can cycle subsonic ammunition suppressed and supersonic ammunition but this does a really good job of splitting that difference without adjusting too much a little tip or trick is if you find it not locking back with certain subsonic ammunition you can clip a couple of coils off of your spring on the rear and the buffer spring and that kind of eases it up a little bit but then again you don't want it over gas for the supersonic ammunition this is going to be a battle as long as ARs exist without adjustable gas systems. And this one does not have it, just a standard gas block. But it seemed to be very reliable with every ammunition I put through it and gassed perfectly to run supersonic ammunition for different hunting applications or subsonic ammunition with a quiet device on the end and you're good to go. So no function issues and it fed incredibly nice. Just, I mean, turning through the rounds, no issues whatsoever. Now I have had some screws walk out on rail systems before from BCA. These ones all remain locked up solid. Um, I did have one walk loose on me after about a thousand rounds. So I just tighten these screws back up and we're good to go. But a lot of people will talk about Bear Creek Arsenal being like a very affordable and maybe um, they're worried and they want to discuss quality or why they're that affordable. And and primarily that's, that's one of the reasons I've seen, you know, when they're doing stuff like this, I don't think they're adding Loctite to these screws and uh, every once in a while, um, I'll have one of these get a little bit loose. But once I've personally added Loctite back to this, they've tightened right back up. Now, let's talk about the price points. A lot of their 16-inch upper assemblies start at 250 and under, down to about 190 occasionally on their deals then. All of the best deals will be over on the campsite page, and the campsite page will be in the description below. There's actually 7.5-inch and 8.5-inch 300 blackout uppers right now, complete with bulk care groups and charging handles for those 159 that's a complete upper assembly they also have free shipping options over three hundred dollars so you're going to save yourself a ton of money that way if you were to buy two they also have some really nice precision 223 wild upper assemblies on sale right now as well as cold hammer forge barrel 556s so a lot of good uppers on sale it would really save you some money if you bundle two of them together got the cart over three hundred dollars and you could kill two birds with one stone and save shipping rights again all of my favorites will be on the campsite page and these are some of the cheapest prices I've seen on uppers in the past eight years. It's going to be hard to beat some of these prices. So it's a good opportunity to start branching out, trying other calibers, trying different barrel lengths. Um, now's the time because they are so affordable. Again, all of the information will be in the description below. And if you're interested in other platforms, you can follow me on my Twitter page, which is now X, my Instagram page, my Patreon page, and definitely subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell. There's deals all the time. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.